everybody welcome back to some more scrap mechanic man we are gonna get this thing off the ground even if it kills us actually kind of it's already off the ground so I guess we mission accomplished I suppose but no you know what I mean I went ahead and I took it all the way back from where we were even on a short little test drive we were already like pretty far away because when I walked back here with it on the lift I could barely see out on the horizon but today we're gonna try just Crap ton more thrusters, I guess. <laughs> That's the basic idea. So we can still fit eight more on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Eight. And yes, someone pointed out the fact that these are not indeed flaps. Flaps are used to uh, create drag to slow the plane. These are helions, helions, some something like that. So, like I said when I was building it, uh, I knew something was gonna be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Okay. So there we go. And let's just go all out. We're just going to add all of them. This might cause the plane to go nuts and completely lose control. Because that is a metric butt ton of thrusters. Because we have 8, 16, 20, 32 on each side. So that's 64 thrusters in total. That's going to be a lot of thrust. I have never used this many in a single attempt. And heck, we may even had we may need to add more eventually. Uh, just to get this thing off the ground, because I'm just worried that it's not going to create any sort of vertical lift in the way that I'm thinking. I don't think the physics are going to behave that way, so we might have to add some thrusters on the side, maybe ones that pop out and point downward to try and get the nose up. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and hook these all up. Uh, the bearing. To that controller. I suppose eventually, um, if we want to try and be able to turn in the air, we'll have the left ones and the right ones hooked up to different controllers. So that way we could uh, pitch these ones down, and if you raise one end, that'll hopefully um, pitch the... I'm going to get all this wrong, so I'm going to be mixing up pitch, yaw, and roll. I guess roll? Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to be mixing them up. It's, it's inevitable, guys. It's going to happen. But now we just have to hook all these up. And go all the way back. Okay, I'll just do that off camera. For now, let's get um the bearings set up correctly. Oh, come on up. Come on up. There we go. And hop on over. Okay, get to do some seven. Yeah, and I always forget that you can actually uh uh, you can walk up to the bearings and right click on them and it'll actually change their direction. So we'll just do this. We'll just turn them all to seven. Oh, we didn't hook them up on the other side actually. Okay. Let me hook these ones up. Wait. Bearing. Bearing. And bearing. That? Yeah, it didn't. Okay. Because uh, I think that's that might be like the maximum you can have on there. Okay, and seven. And we'll probably just put a switch on here instead of a button while we're testing it. Okay, they're all at seven. We're going to get ourselves a little switch. Remove that. Button. Nope, don't remove it. Connect it. Now that should lower them all. What 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 is going on here? <laughs> what the heck? That looks like it raised them. I don't know what's going on with these ones. <laughs> why why is the angle so messed up? Did I hold on? Okay, we want these face down. There we go. Face down. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe I just put the wrong number. Well, those are all correct. Oh, those are all face down? I don't know. It's such a small angle. It's a little difficult to tell. Okay, yeah. So, what was that? That was eight? What is going on here? Eight is at seven degrees. No, I want to press the button. Stop it. <laughs> what is going on with these ones? Uh, 
let's remove that. Hook that up. Oh, I think I s messed up, yeah. Okay. Uh, they're just in the incorrect default position. Okay, yeah, so I must have messed up when I placed them. I don't know. I'm just trying to remember it, what happened. Whatever. Three, four, six, seven. I don't know why that's so much longer. One, two, three, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Counting is hard. Eight. Hey, there we go. Math. And this guy is hooked up, correct? Yes. So now, if we uh, hop on our lift, I really want to make one of those little stair cars. That'd be really cool to get up and down on this thing. Or, oh, we could probably make a staircase just fold out, actually. What is going on with this guy? Why are you not... Oh, maybe I disconnected it. Yeah, yeah. Seven degrees. Probably have to increase that. Nope, it's going the wrong way. And boink. Okay, now we have all these hooked up. They're all at the correct angle. Um, let's actually increase all these to 10. Might be too much, I don't know. There's probably an optimum angle for something like this. But again, we're just kind of making things up as we go because this game doesn't necessarily have the most realistic of physics. So now we can remove that. Place ourselves a button there. The button up. You can see the little lines move. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I'll get up to the driver's seat. And now, yep, they're all being lowered. Very cool. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess this is going to be the first test launch. Oh no, I have to hook all these up. Okay, I'll do that. Duh. Okay, I picked it up and I brought it back over and, <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is ridiculous. I am now realizing that I shouldn't have hooked this all up to the driver's seat. I probably should have hooked up to a bun or something. Because that way we could test it a little bit a, a little better. <gasps> oh, this thing is ridiculous. Okay, let's hop on up. And let's see what kind of speed we can achieve. Pick it up. They are all hooked up. Every last one of them. Oh, wait. Are these? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yep, so 64 thrusters on this big wooden boat. And three, two, one. Um, this doesn't look like they're all firing. Okay, let's uh, lower the Halions, Halions. Okay, so they're pointed down. Not really seeing any lift off the. Look, we are bouncing, but that might just be just because of the. The bumpy road. Why aren't these ones firing? They're hooked up. It may, they may just be glitching out so it looks like they're not firing. But they probably are. Hmm. Okay, well, let's increase that angle. Let's go to 25 degrees. On every single one of them. Don't know if that'll help. It's going to take forever to walk this thing all the way back. Because unfortunately, you can't really rotate things right now. While they're on the lift. Alright, so now. Okay, yeah, much greater angle. So let's start the engines. Let's see if we start, can lift off at all. Ah, no. I'm not seeing it. Like, it looks like it's bouncing a lot. Ah, it's getting there. I'm not sure what's going on with those thrusters, like... Oh, jeez! <laughs> we hit a... Seem to have hit a wall. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's increase it even more. Let's go to 40 degrees. I feel like that's kind of steep. Eventually, let's just... Let's just oh, I guess we could do like 90 degrees and see if it even starts to lift it. Oh wait, you should probably um, hold one down, turn them. See, this is so annoying, I just want to turn the thing around. 
Um. Well, you know what we could do? If we don't want to keep having to walk all the way back, I could make this wheel turn. And then hook these up um, to the gas engine or something. Hmm. I just want to be able to turn the darn thing. Okay, I suppose we could do that. So we'll grab... Probably need a couple gas engines. Not that. That. Uh, we're going to need to remake this wheel. Yeah, it's not going to look great. Um, actually, we could probably just leave it that. We're probably just going to need one wheel in the center. Short pipe. Okay. Actually, no, we got to go back, go back. Bearing there, now we're going to need a curve again. Stupid curve pipe. There. And then... That there, that there. Actually, no, the, the wheel's too wide, right? Yeah. It's a big wheel. Yeah, so that'll work. Um... Steering, oh no, remove that. Bearing, duh. Steering. Turn that. Wheel there. Okay, let's take it off the lift. <laughs> this thing, I don't think it's gonna have enough power. Okay, lift there. Let's go chuck a gas engine in here. Lift that up to that wheel. Uh, is that going the right way? No, it's facing the wrong way. Yes, okay. And honestly, I want to I want to change that anyway. So, yeah, we just undid a lot of work. It's really not bad. It's just kind of tedious. Ah! No. Hole. We're going to sink cuz this is a boat now. Okay, get that up to that. And we're going to need maximum power, naturally. And let's see. Oh! What is going- Oh, man. Wait, what did I do? Did I hook it up to the wrong bearing? No? Oh, this has to be hooked up. Uh, it's kind of just free-flowing right now. Okay. Oh, man! Look, we're actually taxiing! It's super slow. But it's getting there. I'm stuck. Uh, no, this... Actually, stop that. This can just be hooked up to that. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, no. Okay, it's like breaking. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not liking being hooked up to that for some reason. Um, take that off. I guess we'll just hook it up to... I guess we'll just make a new controller for for turning. Yeah, this thing is getting way too complicated. <laughs> Especially since we can't even actually fly right now. Okay, and then we're gonna need a switch. Just plop that on there. Plop that there. Let's just turn it like... 45 degrees. Well, let's actually go the opposite direction. Because we're already starting to turn. There we go. Okay, slowly but surely, uh, we'll turn around. <laughs> let's see. Can you hook up multiple engines to the same one? I don't know if you can. Let's test that, actually. The same wheel. Let's give it a bunch of power. You can't. Now we could hook this up to these guys. That'll help a little bit. With the taxiing. Okay, are those going? That one's going the wrong way. Okay, pull that way. That way. Sweet. Okay, that works. Good there. There we go.
Actually, now that this whole thing is working, we may be able to take that off there. Take that off the steering. Yeah, it's really not like an... I wish there was a fence here. That would make this so much easier. This is nuts. Ugh, it's annoying. Yeah, because it, it, sometimes it's, it's a little difficult to tell. Plus 45. Uh, what if I want to make it go in opposite direction? Can you have this hooked up to a different controller? No. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, I fell out. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so finally got them all hooked up to this button. This thing just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Okay, and they're all hooked up. So if we do one, that'll turn that wheel. Two, lower them 90 degrees by holding, and three should fire the thruster. So if we go down and hit three. Oh, oh look, it's, it's leaving the ground. Slowly but surely. Oh, turn them off, turn them off. Okay. <laughs> um, I'd like it if... Uh, I should have... Um, let's actually do a switch there. Actually, no, that's real easy, because then we just hook that up to there. Okay, yeah. So that'll solve that problem. Nope, do not go. Ah, jeez, okay. These are, yeah, these are 90 degrees. What's going on here? Why have you guys not gone? So this one... That's thrusters, okay. This is angle. Okay, oh, it's because we didn't rehook it. Duh. Okay, so now one turns that. Two fires the thrusters, okay. Well, let me go take a look at these. Are these things actually firing? I don't know if they're just glitching out because they are hooked up. <laughs> oh god, it's oh it's gonna leave. It's gonna leave. No, I must get back on it. Oh, it's rolling forward. It's rolling forward. Ah! Actually, wait. We can just put on a lift. Oh no, but I don't want to rotate the whole thing again. Ah! Crap. Wait, can we get in? There we go. Okay, aha! I found the secret. <laughs> it shut it down. <gasps> oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. So what I think we need to do... Oops. Is add... <laughs> maybe some vertical thrust... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a beam, actually not there. Starting from here, we're gonna go at 16. Starting from here, go at 16. And from here... Oh uh, yeah, we'll go at 16. And from here, we'll go at 16. Okay, we're gonna start pretty small. So let's do one, two, three, four. Let's do four over there. One, two, three, four. Over there. One, two. Actually, do what we even need back ones? Because we're getting. We're lifting the back, so I think we just need them in the front. So let's do five on each side. This will maybe. <laughs> this is gonna start deviating from any sort of standard plane design. I think we've already deviated from that quite a bit. Hey! Okay, and now we're gonna have a button for these guys. Um, what is this button hooked up to? Oh, it's that's for down here. Okay. So this button will be there. So this will be button four. This will fire these thrusters. So they're not going to cause too much lift. Maybe in the front, because we're so light, but... 
We'll see. There, okay. Oh my god, this is starting to make some crazy geometric shapes. So one turns that, two fires the thrusters, three lowers them. We don't want them to be that low though. And uh, four, fire those guys. Just little, uh, what's that called? Like Jado assist or something? I don't remember. I've seen, um, I remember watching some video about it. The, the transport plane for the Blue Angels has to use those. Oh, man. Okay, let's go down to, like, 45 degrees. And I know, like, oh, criticism people are going to have is, like, oh, it's just him screwing around forever. Like, why doesn't he just complete it and then show us? Well, that's not how I play this game. My style of playing in games like this is kind of showing you guys the process, the adventure of making and creating things like this instead of just showing you really cool completed designs. Like, like I, I, there's, a, there's a place for that. Like, I like watching videos where people do that, but... For me, it's more about adventure of building it together, like using advice from you guys, impl implementing it. I don't know. I, that's that's my main reasoning. All right, let's lower them down. <laughs> Whatever, let's just go for it. Let's lower them down, 45 degrees. Uh, activate thruster four. What? Okay, there they go. And <gasps> oh my God, Max, she flew. <laughs> Did you see that? Max, she left the ground. Uh, let's do three. So what if we just have them go that way? Oh my god. I don't know why I hit one. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall. We're gonna hit a wall. Oh man. I, d I think all those thrusters are firing because we're going exceptionally fast. I think the fire just isn't showing up. Oh man. Okay, maybe we just need a little bit more thrust in the front. Two. So now we have seven on each side. And bam. These are going to hook up to button number four. Button number four. I said button number four. Okay. Let's see, can I still get in this way? Hey, I can. Okay. Okay. So I added a couple more front. I maxed these ones out. Added, I think, two more there, two more there, two more there, and two more on the other side. <laughs> so let's just test that. Oh, and I did put a bigger hole in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Reduce a little bit of weight, even though it probably isn't that much overall. So now when we hit four, it should all fire. And I did increase the angle. Of these guys, 60 degrees. So let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, it's starting to dip. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Put the angle back down. <laughs> yeah, so when I change that, watch me dip. 60 degrees. Okay. What happens if we turn these off? Can we level out? <gasps> this looks like sustained flight to me. Does it not? Woohoo! So now we should go back there, we'll start to dip, and fall, and back. Okay, let's see if we can put it down. And... <laughs> Did you see his freaking head? It <laughs> just bounced through. Okay. So I guess we'll call that, uh, practice flight. We got up in the air. It worked for me. I had another great idea. We could take these and have them rotate 90 degrees and reverse thrust, so that would uh, allow us to back up a lot faster, which would mean a quick reset. And I guess I'll implore the developers to make this world bigger. Maybe I'll tweet at them or something and say, please, I'm trying to build a massive aircraft and I keep hitting the walls. Make it bigger, but count it, guys. That was sustained flight. <laughs> Awesome. Maybe we'll work on this again during the stream, because that's a good time for tinkering and figuring stuff out, but it took a crap ton of thrusters, but we technically got this thing airborne. Uh, eventually we can add some ways to pitch and roll it, try and give it a little bit more control, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy this episode's ground mechanic. I'll see you next time. Bye.